Hey guys, welcome back to Packet Drift. In this video, we'll see how to configure the access list on Juniper and Cisco devices. And we'll understand the basic difference in the command line for both the vendors. So let's get started. So guys, let's start with our previous topology, which we are using since our previous videos uh, for Juniper versus Cisco command line series. So here we'll be uh, configuring the access list on G0 slash 0 slash 0 in an indirection which will block the traffic coming from 2.2.2.2 to 1.1.1.1. Basically, we'll be blocking the traffic from Cisco's loopback to Juniper's loopback. Similarly, we'll be doing the same thing on the Cisco router and we'll be configuring the access list towards the in direction on Ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, interface, which will block the traffic from Juniper's loopback to Cisco's loopback. Uh, traffic we'll be blocking uh, will be the ICMP traffic. So we'll see how to configure the access list on Cisco and how to configure the access list on Juniper. And we'll see what are the command line differences. Let's start with CLI. As you can see, this is the Juniper router CLI and this one is the Cisco router CLI. Let me show you the interface configuration Ethernet 0 slash 0 on Juniper, uh, sorry, Cisco router and Juniper router show configuration interface G0 slash 0. So this is the Juniper router configuration. Let's configure uh, and also the look back interface. Show configuration interface look back zero on the Juniper router. So let's configure the access list on Cisco router first. To configure the access list on Cisco router, you have to go inside the configuration terminal as uh, we are configuring anything on the Cisco with the same procedure. Now IP access list ip access list and then you want to configure the standard access list or ex, uh, extended ex, access list that you can con configure based on your requirement so let's configure the standard access list here and give anything either you give the name name standard access list or you give the uh, number of that standard access list let me give the number so let's configure the standard access list 99 now there are different of element that you need to define let's if you are not giving any sequence number uh, for any particular match criteria then um, it will take automatically so let uh, let's let's not give the sequence number or we can also give the sequence number if we want but let's keep it as it is for now uh, let's deny the config uh, let's deny the packet coming from particular host that is uh, host name address to match so we'll be configuring 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1. okay and then log this uh, we also have to define the wildcard mask so slash 32 wildcast wildcard mask would be 0. Uh, 0. 0. 0. 0.0.0.0 and then log this entry now as you can see this we have configured show ip access list so this is a standard access list we have configured and then the it will match the 1.1.1.1 and then it will deny the traffic from that particular source now configure that access list towards the indirection on in ethernet 0 slash 0 ethernet 0 slash 0 ip access group so this is the command ip access group and then which access list number you want to configure like access list that you have configured the standard access list like so we configured the 99 so 99 and then the direction inbound traffic that's it show show run interface ethernet 0 slash 0 as you can see, we have configured this in the inside direction. The traffic coming from 1.1.1.1 to 2.2.2.2 will get dropped. Okay. But here, as you see, the last term, uh, like 10 or by default term would be, by default sequence would be deny. It will deny the traffic from other sources as well. So we, we don't want that. We have to allow that uh, 
traffic from the other sources other than 1.1.1 so we have to modify this uh, slightly go to ip access list standard 99 that we defined and then give the permit any so this will get added in the last so it will take a difference of 10 sequence number so first sequence entry started with 10 and the second sequence uh, if you add it will start uh, it will go it will take another 10 number so that is 10 or 20 like if you will add third sequence number it will it will have number like 30 so this is uh, how we configure the access list and this is how we apply access list on the uh, cisco router so let's verify let's ping 2.2.2.2.2 from source 1.1.1.1 as you can see here we are getting the 100 percent packet loss so it is getting blocked as you also can see we log the session uh, we log the hitting that is coming from the particular source that is 1.1.1 and it is getting denied this particular packet is getting denied here let's ping without the source so if i ping without the source ip that it will take as a source it would be 100.1.1.1 ip so as you can see this is getting pinged so that's how we verify and that's how we configure the access list on this Cisco router now let's configure the access list on the juniper router which will block the traffic from 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .1 .1 to 1.1.1.1 let's uh, remove all the configuration that we applied till now no ip access list under 100 right sorry configuration terminal interface you can add zero slash zero no ip access flow 99 plane so this is the plane now uh plane configuration without uh, any access list you can add zero slash zero and we don't have any access list as we removed it just now oh, sorry no ip access list standard 99 so let's configure the access list on juniper router now uh, access list in juniper is known as the firewall filter like uh, access list is uh, uh, in in cisco it is uh, known as the access list ip access list but in juniper it is known as the firewall filter so let's see how to configure those commands to configure access list you have to go inside the configuration and then define the set firewall family inet so there are two flavors inet 6 and inet inet is used for ipv4 access list and inet 6 is used for ipv6 access list so here in this scenario we are configuring the uh, ipv access list for inet ipv4 traffic so let's keep it inet now then define the filter and filter name let's keep it as from cisco and then term so term is nothing but the sequence number that is getting used in the cisco router right so define the term term one and then define the match matching criteria so from source address here we have to block the traffic coming from 2.2.2.2 so let's keep 2.2.2.2 and then going to destination address address 1.1.1.1 and then perform what should be the action define what should be the action if this part packet is getting matched to this particular sequence so then accept uh, sorry reject the traffic we don't want to accept the traffic coming from this particular source so then reject and then let's configure the counter so the packet coming from this particular source and if and it is getting rejected then it would get count in this particular counter let's count and give the counter name let's uh, give it icmp deny so uh, let's see what we did so far show pipe compare 
we define the the firewall filter named from Cisco for IPv4 and then define the first sequence define the matching criteria and then perform the action we define the action that we need to perform after packet getting matched to this particular criteria now similarly like Cisco in Juniper uh, by default and term would uh, deny all the traffic so we don't want to do that we want traffic to be denied only if it is coming from 2.2.2.2 so to define uh, to accept all traffic we have to define one more term like we did here we did we did define the sequence 20 and permit all of the traffic similarly we have to define the term 2 here so go to set firewall family inet filter and then the filter that we defined just now from cisco and then define the second term term 1 already defined now we'll be defining term 2 and then we will not do any matching criteria here but we will be accepting all traffic if we are not doing any from or any matching criteria then it will by default take all traffic into the action and will perform the uh, uh, action that is defined inside the then command so then either you match either you reject either you accept or either you reject or all other uh, there are multiple actions that you can perform like this this, this many actions are there so let's uh, accept all traffic and then we also will also count the packet which is not getting matched or which is getting allowed which is not getting matched i mean which is not getting matched to previous term that is term one so traffic coming from the other source other than 2.2.2.2 then count and then we'll give the counter name which will be uh, getting counted on this particular counter so all other let's give all other so let's see what we did we defined two term inside the firewall filter term once and then its action and term two and in its action so now apply this firewall filter in the in direction of g0 slash 0 slash 0 that like we did in cisco router with the ip access group similarly we have to do it in a juniper router so set firewall sorry set interface ge 0 slash 0 unit 0 family inet filter and this is the same way how we define the ip address or how we configure the ip address on the interface similar way we have to define inet filter in ip ip configuration we did inet address um, if you haven't watched this video like how to configure the IP address on the Juniper router I would suggest uh, to go my previous video and watch this video now I need filter and then define the direction input direction we want to the traffic coming from this Cisco to Juniper so input direction and then define the that uh, IP access list or firewall filter that we configured its name here get now show pipe compare we define the firewall filter with two term first term will reject the traffic coming from 2.2.2.2 and then it will count the packet how many packet got rejected second term will accept all the traffic and that will be counted on all other counter and then we apply this filter or we can say access list on this particular g0 slash 0 slash 0 in an input direction so let's commit the configuration and now let's verify show configuration firewall filter inet display set family inet, inet filter and display filter from cisco and display set so this is what we configured and show configuration 0 slash 0 display set and this is where we applied the uh, filter that we define from cisco this is this is uh, from cisco is the access list name and the access list got applied in input direction inside direction inside the g0 slash 0 slash 0 unit 0 so let's verify ping 1.1.1.1 
Juniper loop back with the source of two dot two dot two dot two. We are getting host unreachable. Now how to check the counter on the Juniper router? To check this counter, go to show firewall, filter, and then counter, and then the counter name that we define. Let's see. ICMP deny counter. ICMP deny and then the access list and the, which access list this counter is there from Cisco. So we by default Cisco will ping with the phi command. Let's so as you can see this is getting rejected or let's see all other counter all other counter which will accept all packet from Cisco. As you can see, there are this, there is nothing because we haven't pinged the IP 1.1.1 uh, from other source other than 2.2.2.2. So as you can see, let's uh, ping one more time from 2.2.2.2 and repeat count would be 5. So as you can see, again, it came host unreachable because we are blocking this pack packet on the firewall filter. Now this counter would be increased to 10. Sorry, I seem to deny counter. So this is now 10. Now let's can ping it with the source without source. So by default, it will take the outgoing interface IP. So here it will take 100.1.1.2 IP as a source while pinging 1.1.1.1. So it should get match and it should get accepted and it also will be getting counted in all other counter. So this this counter should get incremented now. And we would be able to ping those uh, this loopback IP. So ping dot one dot one dot one dot one and then see. This IP is getting pinged because this is taking the source IP address of outgoing interface of Ethernet 0 slash 0. And we can see that counter is getting incremented. Here you can see the file and it is getting accepted based on our term 2. So this is how we can configure the you know access list here in the Juniper. So thanks guys for watching this video. Please do like, comment and subscribe the packet trip for more such learning. Thank you.